We were able to start something called the Ronnie Brown Project, which the initiative is 23 ways to stop youth violence. And, you know, we just did it just looking at some of the things that have been going on in the school systems and, you know, some of the incidences we've had as far as, you know, the violent acts in the schools and, you know, just trying to do my part and, you know, take on the initiative to try to avoid those things that's been happening. You probably started as a little project and it kind of grew. Now it's been a whole school year. So what have you gotten out of it? The feedback that we've gotten has been good and, you know, as well as for myself individually, I've been able to kind of open myself up as well and let people know a little bit about me, you know, outside of the football field and, you know, individually and let them know a little bit about my background and, you know, I've, be able to, I've been able to grow, you know, as an individual as far as, you know, being able to express myself a little bit more. How does this work? You go to the school, you talk, there's a film, tell me about that. Yeah, you know, we come in and, you know, obviously Seth does a great job of, you know, coordinating with the schools and, you know, we get in and, you know, I pre present for maybe 10 minutes or so and then we turn it over to JC or Aram from Team Truth and you know, they have a great powerful presentation that I think does a great job of you know bringing it home. I want to ask this question and I want you to be honest with me. I want you to tell me the truth. I'm going to ask you to sit down if you've ever done those things. If you've ever punched, kicked, tripped, called someone a name, spread a rumor, made a racist comment, excluded somebody. And brothers and sisters count for this one too. You got to show and then, you know, we also teamed up with the Miami VIP Project, which does a great job in the classroom setting, and, you know, they do a great job as well. So as a group, I think, collectively, we were able to touch some people. I know that the kids are obviously really excited when you come to the school, and they're always, like, wanting your autograph, taking pictures. I mean, is there a moment that stands out? To see them, you know, uh, enjoying and interacting with you know the presentation and just letting them know that you or let you know that they're really paying attention and getting something out of it which is always good and so what's the message of the this project you know really there's an alternative way to handle and you know the problems or issues that you know we have not only as adults but also as young individuals and you know giving them a different way to you know resolve those things is you know is the altercations and avoid the violent acts. It just brings a lot to light. You know, I think a lot of times we overlook it and we don't really feel like, you know, we're doing anything or it's really affecting anybody if we're, you know, talking about people or, you know, even these small things as far as, you know, just day to day things as far as activities and, you know, certain things that we say, we don't really know how they affect people and just kind of let them know that, you know, sometimes that really does affect people. So you're going to do this again next year? <laughs> I plan on it. You know, I feel like it's not only an obligation but a responsibility to, you know, give back and do my part in the community because it's, you know, obviously something that I'm a part of and, you know, the people that I'm going to be around.